What's up, Fish Tank people? FishTankTV.com, Dawson's Fish Tanks, bringing to you on a Friday, baby. How the heck's everybody doing? Hope you're doing awesome. Hope you had a great week, and the weekend's coming ahead. Oh, yeah. Here's what's going on, folks. It's summertime, freaking beautiful. Sun's hitting me. I'm out here by the garden pond, having a little blast here on a Friday morning. No kids and lots of caffeine. Check it out, here's what's going on. I know what you're thinking to yourself. You're thinking to yourself, you're like, you know what, man, it's summertime, I really wanna put a pond, or I wanna put a little like tank outside. I don't wanna screw around with tanks outside. And you know what you're gonna do? You're gonna take that tank and you're gonna set it out in as much sun as you can. And I'm gonna tell you, that's not what you wanna do. Because today, folks, you wanna think like a plant, and that's what I wanna talk about. I wanna talk about putting plants outside. I've also got not one, but two, actually three announcements at the end of this video, so stay tuned. Yeah. When you want to take an aquarium and you want to set it outside, here's what you don't want to do. You don't want to set it in full sun. Ask me how I know this. I used to set them right up here against that. And you know what happened? Algae. Lots of it. Too much to control. And here's the reason. Again, think like a plant, okay? You're thinking like a plant. A plant is in a big body of water. That water temperature probably doesn't swing that much. You put a 10, 15, 5 gallon tank out in full sun, it's going to get real hot, then cool off at night, real hot, then cool off, and that's no good, okay? Which is actually something, by the way, I'm dealing a problem with here in the Mighty Greenhouse, okay? Because I've got these little 10 gallons that are up here, and um, they just get too hot and too cold, so that's why I had them connected to the bigger body of water. If you're doing an aquarium outside, I recommend you use a larger one if you can, 55, 75, whatever. 20s will work, but here's the deal. The bigger volume of water you have, the more stable your temperature is going to be. It's also easier on the water changes. Water changes, by the way, are a joke in the tank outside because you just overflow them. So, yeah, take your uh, aquarium, your small 10, whatever. If you're going to use a small one, whatever, do what you got to do. Put it in the shade, okay? Put it in the shade. Put it in the shade. That sounds crazy. Everyone wants more, more, more. No, you want less, okay? When you're outside, you want to shove it in the shade. You like all my weeds there? So, yeah, take an aquarium this size, put it out in the shade, and when you have success in your tank, you'll get little runners. This is my little runner collection or whatever, just random stuff in the greenhouses of the random tank. So I want to show you guys some runner action here. That's about the size length of roots I like on an Amazon sword for a runner. Um, you could go ahead and plant that down. Folks, do yourself a favor, dirt a tank and put it outside in the summertime in the shade and watch it, okay? So yeah, what about an inch of root? You want to shove it down into the dirt. I'm gonna go bam, bam, and shove it down in there. That's that, and then also on my favorite tank over here, the full sun tank. What's up, Mr. Turtle? God, I love him. Um, yeah, these, I'm trying to think, do I have any examples to show you? I don't know. Yeah, wisteria doesn't even have, you wanna look for like the little roots that come along here or whatever, and then you can break that and make it into two plants. Here's an example. Yeah, crenum growing back. But anyway, that's what's up. So I've got some this fish tank people action to talk about. Uh, number one, shout outs to my man Gary Lang, uh, Melatonea Gary Langi. That's a rainbow fish named after him. How tight is that? And a lot of people don't know. Getting these fish is not easy, okay? He goes to crazy places where they are not stable governments or whatever to collect awesome rainbows. So shout out to Gary Lang for the new rainbow fish named after him. And shout out to Gary for having me come out to St. Uh, Louis in September, September 27th. I will be live uh, speaking to their club on a Thursday night, September 27th. Mark that in the books, okay? So Gary Lang, props to you having a rainbow fish named after you. That's awesome. That should be a goal of mine to have a fish named after Dustin someday, maybe. Uh, yeah, and then I'll be out in St. Louis September uh, 27th out there talking to that club on a Thursday night. But coming up, live, live, live from New York, my man Lou Shiva reached out to me. He's like, yo, I want you to come to Reef of Palooza. I'm in, okay? June 27th, Reef of Palooza. No booth, just Dustin in your face with the camera. Checking it out. People are like, oh, Dustin, what? You're going to go to a Reef show? Yeah, you know what I'm going to do a Reef show? Do? I'm going to check out the lighting. Because I'll come to Planet Tank. I'm going to check out the CO2 that people use on uh, calcium reactors. And I'm going to check out a bunch of waterfall. Not to mention, meet a bunch of cool fish tank people in New York. And I love freaking New York. So check it out. Reef of Palooza. Click the link below. June 27th. Come see me. Come hang out. Captain's wearing off. Everybody have an awesome weekend. Talk to you on Sunday and tank on. Later!